almost follow the gears. It's oh. actually stuck in your hair. I'll show you. Okay. I'm a shifter now. Oh man. So yeah, it's it's just stuck in third gear, and the car's been sitting here for months because of that. Here we got my twin turbo car looking beautiful as always. Kill me in the comments. I actually put spacers on these. It's a 35 millimeter offset front wheel and they looked a little bit tucked with a 26 tall tire before with well, a 17 millimeter hop centric spacer. Um, for something small like that, I don't foresee any issues. And so far it's been perfect that now they're flush. They're perfect. So excited for the tracks open up. Oh, Jack, what's up? What's up, man? What's up? Oh, I'm just trying to make YouTube videos. Basically, yep. anybody, I mean, if you want content these days, you either got to have a bunch of mods on deck, which we do. We got to put like the parachute mount on the car and stuff like that. Um, still waiting on the actual parachute itself from Hell Horse Performance if he's still going to send it to me. Earlier now, it's raining. It's like 40 degrees. So we're not going to Mexico today. Look at this. Oh, you can even turn it like left and wow. I really like this cage. I really want to do like a six point in mine, but I mean, if we go out there and run like mid nines, they're going to be like, nope, six points, not enough. I really like the Watson cage, even the four point. I mean, it's just so clean looking. The thing is though, is they're cheap compared to like a 10 point. A lot of guys, they go out and run nines with no cage. This is the shifter though. This is a race spec. MGW. I've had everything except for MGW. I don't know why. I've had the Steeda Triax. I've had the Barton. The MGW I've never had, but I've always heard good things. They're expensive, but from what people say, they're totally worth it. In you want you want that positive feel, especially in a, in a track car where you have a lot of lateral uh -huh. forces. That really allows the shifter to move left to right, which can throw off where you think a gear is. Is that my uh, old coolant from before? Yeah, and your <laughs> old oil over there too. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, so I haven't done a shifter in a 350 ever. I've done them in yeah, GTs, actually, but. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. We might want to jack the whole car up so because the whole exhaust is the easiest way. Oh, that's right. Oh, I just became really unmotivated to do the rest of this yeah. video. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that. Carbon fiber drive shaft, so it's a little bit bigger. Uh oh. Might be a problem. Whenever it falls, I'll have it <laughs> videoed. When you go to, oh my that's God. Crap out of me too. Carbon fiber, oh, that's so thick. That's a fatty. Fiber. Yeah. That's definitely coming out. The drive shaft? Oh, hell yeah. I mean, they're easy enough to take out. It's just one more thing. Yeah, Man, it's like way different under here compared to a regular GT. I've never been underneath of a 350. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of arrow under here for sure. That guy's sockets. I forgot to text you about that too. Did you find them? Yeah, right there. Oh, hell yeah. Need that too. Holy shit. Oh my god, that's nice. You got your roller. So I used to just like low crawling on my back. I'm so glad to like almost be done complete underneath of my car with suspension and this, that, and the other. Because I'm so sick and going back and forth. Yeah, I need a, yeah, I need I a shot. We should just, like, we could just partner up, man. But just keeping customers' cars, you know what I mean? Customers' cars and then, yeah, have good security system and all that stuff. I mean, insurance that's and everything nice. else. I would have to have cameras and insurance to make sure. That... Yeah. Somebody stole your car. Sorry about it. It's gone. Did you have a low jack? Oh, you didn't? Oh, that sucks. All oh, that BMR suspension under here. Guys, as always, links in the description if you want to save some money. We have basically BMR's almost full catalog of my car. It's really cool because I don't have any NVH from it. Use code chain at checkout at bmrsuspension.com and save you a bunch of money and free shipping because I hate paying shipping. Go ahead and go check them out. BMR suspension. I don't have these. Yeah, it's it's nice. actually a wobble plus, so if you snap it down, now it's not a wobble. I like that. You lift it up just a little, you got a wobble. I need to upgrade my tools. Oh, that's on there pretty tight. Nope. Ow, I just hit the back. A spider, I don't like spiders. Okay. All right, how we doing? It's almost there. <laughs> there we go. And now it's gonna come forward. Forward. Yep. This is what we want to lift, guys. Why? Right here. Oh, my hand. Uh, there we go. Right. Give the video a thumbs up, please. It helps <laughs> YouTube videos grow and spread much Hopefully more than people shot. know. Comment down below something. Oh, <laughs> Just leave a smiley face or a period mark. I don't care. Comment something. Give the video a thumbs up or thumbs down. I don't care, I guess. And then watch at least 50% of the video. And that is honestly one of the things that helps YouTubers grow more so than people know. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna suck because the car's stuck in gear. Clutch, Clutch but it still yeah. should spin. Snug fit. Well, well snug. <laughs> still like film this. I can't get it. These seats are tight. If you ever want to sell your uh, door panels, your Alcantara door panels, let me know. Okay. 
Yeah, there's days that I really miss driving a stick shift car. And you can't beat it with something like this. I love the refinement that they gave the uh, the new upgraded ones with the uh, the audio and all of that. Oh shit! I see. Yeah, it's like one big piece. Are you talking I about? I think it's got a bolt right here that goes all the way through. So I think we just have to take these off. Okay, that's crazy. That's different yeah, than it's the like uh, a big damper. Cross member comes loose, guys. 18 mil, and then these are 15s, and then uh, a little different for the GT. Yeah. Looking at these bolts to go all the way through. It says two on this piece, if you notice. Uh -huh. It says scrap if dropped. Wow. Okay. So don't drop it. Yeah. Like <laughs> it's, it's metal, you know? Like Right. Why is that such a big deal? Define drop. Does that mean <laughs> six feet? Three feet? Those are some tight bolts for this little wrench. I need a breaker bar for this bad boy. <laughs> you got this carnage flopping around there's your arm there's all this is going to get replaced so then you got 10 mil that hopefully is neutral now <laughs> you said the drive shaft got all banged up from uh yeah, okay. i don't want to look at it oh my god oh my gosh look at that so that was uh moving around in there that's nasty oh this is a whole lot lighter than mine the drive shaft shop thousand plus horsepower rated of mine this carbon fiber is like Crazy, light crazy lightweight. Like I was surprised when I installed mine how heavy it was. The aluminum? Yeah. Like I mean it's almost as heavy as you know OEM factory. It's just one piece and it's solid, but that is definitely half the weight. It's all rotational mass. <laughs> So we'll lower the transmission down a little bit. More? <clears throat> probably. I mean, the more the easier, really. Yeah. That's that's probably fine. Right. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me try out. I've never used one of these. What? These sliders. Yeah, that one is kind of a shitty one, but you'll still like it. Doesn't matter. Oh, that's so that's funny. beautiful. <laughs> that's great. I've never used one. I always just slide around. Okay, that's definitely a ten. Oh my god, that's tight. Oh my god. Why in the f is that so tight? Oh, there we go. Oh, now I remember. It's coming back to me. I haven't done a short throw in a car in a while. So yeah, the lower the transmission, like we've got it, the better. Because that, that bolt that, that comes out of here that I'm working on is really long. I did a car with long tubes and they welded the guy's exhaust on. So I couldn't even take the exhaust Oh, off. that sucks. <laughs> what is hap- What in the hell is- Straight up race car. Why is this not going- What the f is happening oh there we go oh it's a clip here's the hole a hole here's a hole, a hole? yeah oh. right through the center of your uh <laughs> i thought you meant like the that piece made a hole no oh my god, oh my god. no <laughs> there's the oem stock shifter you want to know what's yep. funny too now that i'm looking at the whole thing in your hand i don't think the shifter's broken at all i think this pin broke uh-huh yeah there's no damage to this yeah this is not broken at all it just the pin sheared off interesting yeah there's no damage to this at all yeah, the pin sheared off and then this had a, a yeah. fight with my drive shaft fortunately drive shaft seemed to have lost a little bit but it's <laughs> a good fight shaft, i wonder can you put that on no probably not because it's only for the tremor no they're completely different yeah mt82 this arm comes like straight because yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got these hard bushings here too so versus like rubber with the other yeah. from the factory yeah they're great this is it. I this is never great. I would have MGW for this car had that not happened. Right. They're that good, yeah. If I knew it was just the pin sheared, I might have considered seeing if I can just get a new bolt and pin through there. Oh, you'll probably love this still a lot oh, better. I, yeah. I did have a little issue sometimes missing third gear in mm -hmm. the hard corner where I getting, had to downshift the third. It was getting locked out. I was ending, I was putting it in fifth on accident. Oh, uh, like, so, yep, yeah, there's a hole. Boom. Well, we're going to go to Lowe's. <laughs> Gonna see if we can find a a bolt. Try something. See if he can shave it down. And make it a something like a temporary fix. Oh, burn. <laughs> Is it burn? <laughs> yeah, the turbo. Yeah, it's crazy when you get on it. You let off. <laughs> Gates opening up. We were at a stop because the new MGW does not come with wow. linkage pin. That's what it's called, linkage pin. It goes into the short arm. The factory one broke or backed out or something. We think it broke. So Ford is back ordered for a month because of this whole virus thing. So I uh, went to the store and actually got a better, you might have to actually taper the 
this down a yeah, little bit more. Just yeah. To do is polish the end down a little yeah. Bit. So, um, got a better grade bolt than what comes with the factory and making our own. So it's threaded and uh, it goes into yeah, this so section it here. On that one side. Right. Which we still have tape over it, but then it's a pin that goes through the. Yeah. So we're gonna get under the car, see if we're close. It's perfect though. Yeah. We are taking metal off, but it's a higher grade than uh, supposedly what the factory is. But the factory one, I know you guys are going to kill us in the comments. I can't believe you're doing this to a race car. Well, that's <laughs> what it is. It's a race car. Now think about this. The factory one broke, so we're going to make our own. And if it breaks, well, again, then we did just as good same as argument, you know. If, <laughs> oh, I like this roller. If it breaks, then we did if just it, as good as Ford. Yep. If it breaks, it's the same. But honestly, like machine shops do stuff like this all of the time they may just make stuff of their own it's close yeah the end's got to go down more it's a little hole real close though right it's close yeah like real close uh the the 50s and 70 cars whenever i've done it before that pin that linkage pin that comes out it's really skinny guys if anything it's a temporary solution i really do think it's going to hold up better than the factory one anyway so Yeah, that tapered in definitely helped, but the whole thing's got to shave down a little bit more. I know, that looks that looks like almost like you'd buy it from Ford that way, you know? It's all <laughs> well, polished exactly up. exactly the way the one from Ford looks. <laughs> so, yeah, it shaved down enough, tapered at the end a little bit, so it does fit through the hole down there to the back of the transmission. All right, now we uh, just got to put the shifter together, see if it works. The only thing I'm still a little worried about, which we can fix real easily, is once we tighten this down, Mm -hmm. Are our threads going to start showing through there? Because I tried to get it as close as we can. Um, you know, I, don't I don't know think how they thick will. that piece is that goes on the inside. If it's fully, you know, if it's almost a machine fit in there. Right. Got that whole long arm there. It's going to go on first. You're going to thread towards the passenger side with that new bolt that we just made. Or your factory bolt, whichever. This is going to fit on there about like this. We've got to figure out if it's up or down. Really nice shifter. I could definitely see this being $500, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or whatever they retail for new. Well, the quality, quality yeah. yeah. Take that. Make sure it goes this way. Slot her on there. And then you can position this however once you get it in there. So essentially now we take our new shifter and uh install it. And yeah, put it up through the card. I said card. Car. It looks so fancy. It's black and red. One. Okay, now let me get that. Where's that bolt you, you took out? No? No say nada. <laughs> this one, right? Si, sí, senor. So this didn't have any lock tag on it. So no, it did not. Should we put some? Wait a minute. Is it? Oh, no. Yeah, that's right. That is it. It's a 10 mil. That is it. Yes. Yeah, so it goes in. Yeah. I don't know which way it goes in, to be honest. This way. You. It only goes in one way. Are you sure? Yeah. Just get it as tight as you can. Oh, no. What? Oh wait, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Ken does that to me all the time. I know, he does that <laughs> oh no. It's like what? What'd you do? So I need to come back. You need to go to neutral basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. It's like why the why would this shit? It will not work. MGW was, or not the MGW, the, the Barton was like that too. It was nothing like this. Yeah. It's because they don't have a centering spring in here now. I talked to the guy about that too. Right. He was like, oh, people were complaining. When we talk about the play that this thing has right now, remember we did fabricate a bolt. It's a machine to pin, yes. Now the factory is a pretty snug fit. That one that we put in there is a pretty snug fit too. But, you know, could it be off just slightly? Maybe. Would that translate to this amount of play? Who's to know? I just don't want to make it sound like we're trying to bash MDW shit. Right, right. Like that, when it could very well be something that we did, guys. So like, right. So that is one variable here is that we, you know, basically machined our own pin for that. So. Correct. So, so one of the, yeah, one of the pieces that we put into this this equation here is not OEM spec. Right. It's something that has been fabricated. You can't knock the product because. Right, it's not oh yeah right, exactly. right so uh but yeah this is not a, a bash on mgw and I'll update because you guys in the future yeah on yeah if, if that is what it is trust me i'll i'll find out real soon <laughs> right right but if you have a gt350 with the same shifter comment down below uh your thoughts on it but yeah those um the shifter has to be precise any little bit of movement that you have down there and that that little pivot area down there will graduate 
to a greater distance up top. So that is very possible that, you know, but at well, least it works see, for now. Remember, there might have been just the slightest amount of play right. the way it's meant to be. But right. then you come, you know, compound that by having the machine pin a little bit too small. And, right. You know what I mean? Next thing you know, you have a whole bunch of play. Yeah, but it works. Looks good. I think it's a solid product. I would definitely buy this for mine. Anyway, now we have a 10-speed automatic with a big converter because we drag race, but for a uh, race car like this, I think it looks right at home. It's a $2 bolt, guys, and we were just trying to get the video done and get the install done. It's a month on back out. order, too. That's the reason why we said, let's try and see if we could do it ourselves. Right. But at this point, you know, let's just get the right bolt. It's two bucks. We'll wait the couple weeks. So I'll come back and then um, we'll finish up the rest of the install. Drop a thumbs up on the video if you liked it. If you're new, subscribe if you want to. Join the family. And uh, other than that, I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Be safe. Have fun. Have a great day.